Hi, this is David Fine with Keys Mods. Welcome to Wacky Worms. Today, we are featuring one of my favorite South Florida mods, the IO Moth. The IO moth is sexually dimorphic. Males are smaller than females. Uh, they, the males tend to be yellow. Females tend to be this brick red coloration, real pretty brick red coloration on the forewings. Both sexes have this super impressive false eye spot mimicry thing going on in the hind wing. And they, like most moth species, will keep the hind wing hidden. And then once a predator comes and tries to disturb the IO moth or tries to eat an IO moth, that IO moth, instead of flying away because they're pretty slow flyers, it'll flash those hind wings real quick and try and scare away a predator instead of trying to fly away because I think they'll get chased down by a bird if they try and get away because they're not very fast. So IO moths are polyphagous, which means they'll eat just about anything. Uh, they have a wide variety of different kinds of host plants throughout the eastern United States. And they live just about everywhere in the eastern United States from the Canada border all the way down through throughout the Caribbean. Uh, our South Florida bugs, they tend to love bay trees. They love swamp bay. They love red bay. They love palms, uh, red mangrove, lignum vitae, Jamaican dogwood. A hibiscus. If you have a hibiscus bush in your yard, uh, be careful because you might get stung by one of the caterpillars at some point in time because they, they will eat that up. But I love the population that lives in the Florida Keys. They actually look quite a bit different than the IO moths just 100 miles to the north in the uh, Florida mainland. The population in the Keys, the males aren't nearly as yellow. They're a little bit more of like a rust color, kind of a, kind of a pretty thing. Uh, very different from the mainland IO moths. Females, a little bit different, probably not as well marked, but the uh, Keys population have smaller eye spots as well. So pretty distinct, some people consider them a subspecies, but uh, nevertheless, it, it's this, pretty much the same bug. Uh, they feed on just about anything, and caterpillars are probably what they're the best known for. Caterpillars, they have these urticating hairs these branching urticating hairs throughout the entire caterpillar and they sting like crazy. And you do not want to get stung by an IO moth caterpillar. Uh, I've been stung several times, it's not fun. I, I equate it to like, getting a cigarette put on your skin. It burns, probably a burning sensation, probably for a couple hours um, and then it starts to subside but you'll get some swelling in the local, in that area where you get stung. Um, not a fun thing, you don't want to get stung so try and avoid uh, touching them. But they've got those uh, green branching spines throughout the entire length of the caterpillar. You can't touch it without getting stung. Caterpillars are green and they've got green spines and they've got those, those white and uh, rust colored uh, lateral lines going down both sides of the caterpillars. Eggs are laid in clusters, these little clusters of cream colored eggs that kind of look like little hamburgers if you look at them uh, under a magnifying glass. Um, they laid in clusters on the leaves and stems of the plants. Uh, caterpillars are gregarious, so they'll hang out in clusters of anywhere between five and 30. I've seen up to 30 uh, caterpillars hanging out like on one leaf and they'll just eat together and uh, safety with spines, safety in numbers, I guess. When it's time to pupate, the caterpillars will crawl down into some leaf litter or even in the tree, they'll, they'll uh, uh, attach several leaves together and form a cocoon with some silk. They'll spin a silk cocoon like most silk moths will do and they'll pupate there. Uh, they breed throughout the year in South Florida. In fact, in the Keys, you can find them in every month of the year. And uh, once they fly, again, they don't feed just like any other Saturnid. They don't have mouth parts, so they don't feed as adults. Uh, so pretty much all the energy that they're going to use throughout their adult life, they've stored up um, during their feeding as a caterpillar. Down in the Florida Keys, the IO moth is definitely one of the local favorites as far as moths go. You can pretty commonly see them on gas station walls or anywhere else that uh, lights would uh, attract them. And they, they come readily to lights. Actually, the males come re readily to lights. Very seldom see the females. Uh, but that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you've enjoyed our video on the IO moth. 
uh, we, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel because we got a lot more videos like this coming out where we're going to explain and express uh, how cool the caterpillars, the wacky worms of South Florida are. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, give us a like, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can follow us there. We post quite regularly. Uh, and until next time, enjoy South Florida and don't get stung by iron mods. Take care. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.